Hi, my name is Heather and I'm an intern at Future City Inc. in Elizabeth, New Jersey. This video is about mercury, what it is, how it gets into the fish we eat, and the possible health risks. Mercury is a naturally occurring element found in the air, water, and soil. Pure mercury is a silvery white liquid metal, sometimes referred to as quicksilver. Mercury is found in many rocks, including coal. When coal is burned, mercury is released into the environment. Coal burning power plants are the largest human caused source of mercury emissions to the air in the United States. Burning hazardous wastes, producing chlorine, breaking mercury products, and spilling mercury can also release it into the environment. Mercury has been used in many consumer and commercial products such as old thermometers, fluorescent light bulbs, silver dental fillings, batteries mainly produced outside the United States, paints, and pesticides. Mercury in the air eventually settles into water or onto land where it can be washed into the water. Once deposited, certain microorganisms can change it into methyl mercury, a highly toxic form that builds up in the fish and wildlife and humans who eat the fish. As you can see in this picture, mercury increases in concentration as it moves up the food chain. Shrimp, canned light tuna, salmon, pollock, and catfish are generally low in mercury. Albacore, or white tuna, is higher in mercury and should be eaten less often. Shark, swordfish, king mackerel, and other predatory fish contain the highest levels of mercury. Women who are pregnant, nursing, or want to become pregnant, as well as children, should be especially cautious when eating fish and shellfish. Exposure to mercury can affect the human nervous system and harm the brain, heart, kidneys, lungs, and immune system. Since mercury and other toxin levels in the water and fish can vary, check your local advisories or contact your local health department for more information.